we're in London. Play master. Heavy smoking. Heavy smoking. I'm not smoking, of course. No smoke. But we're here in this here London village. And landed. So uh, we're on our way to put Hive in the Thames. Be a laugh. Good morning. How are you doing? Welcome to our trip to HMS Belfast. Yes, we had to get the train. Um, good old Harry came down the night before. Kebabs, beers, the usual. And then we were forced, thank you for swearing at the camera, to get the train up in the morning to go to London, Victoria, to go and visit HMS Belfast. Thank you, Mr. Hive, for asking us and getting us on the VIP list. We had an absolutely awesome day. It was a load of fun. Um, train journey was, well, a train journey. Um, inter it's, it's interesting when you don't travel into London very often. I think the last time I went was 2019. You forget that genuinely the train journey into London is um, <laughs> pretty uneventful. There's not a lot out there. And London by train on the way in, particularly the last 20, 30 minutes, all you see is bushes... The sides of like office structures and um, yeah, lots and lots and lots of graffiti, some of which is very cool actually, to be honest. So yeah, um, we headed into London. Um, we had a awesome, really nice journey. Everything was going very, very well. We got to Victoria. <coughs> I think we saw the um, Battersea Power Station on the way in. Yeah, you'll see as you get into closer into central London, the buildings actually got a bit nicer. But still, the train tracks are, um, yeah, not hugely exciting. Um, so, yeah, we got into London, um, decided to have a quick smoke break, as you saw at the start, which is where our intro came from, from the lovely Mr. Yak. Um, and then realised that we were going to be running a bit late once we got on the tube train. Um, it wasn't going to take us 10 minutes to get there. It took us 25 minutes to get there. And... Um, yeah, we were supposed to be on a VOP tour at 10 a.m. in the morning, and that didn't happen. But fortunately, it was all a little bit higgledy-piggledy, so we managed to get on a tour um, at half past 10 when we got there. Um, we saw the Tower of London on the way in, Tower Bridge. Um, two larger gentlemen that we are managed to, um, how can I put it, <clears throat> sweat ourselves silly on the way there. I apologise for the half-naked man who runs through shot in the middle of one of these um <laughs> well, we we may have had a comment about it shall we say yeah look and he's running past you no get out of shot get out of shot oh god damn it anyway so yes hms belfast you can see it from tower bridge and it's absolutely fabulous um there were this is what 10 o'clock in the morning ish when we got there quarter past 10 actually when we got to the ship and um we um it was hilarious. We bumped into a guy at the door who sounded exactly like Monk. And my first comment to him was, Hey, what are you doing here? I didn't know you were coming. And he's like, And you are? Uh, you sound exactly like somebody we know. But you're not the Monk, are you? No. Incidentally, did you know the Monk is a new CC? So yes, HMS Belfast. And then we bumped into Final Boss, who was awesome. What a nice guy. Um, we bumped, in, bumped into a couple of the um, CMs from the PC side of things. And um, yeah, we uh, we uh, went straight to the VIP room to get our goodie bags. As you may already know, we received um, HMS Belfast codes, which they've suggested we can give away. So there's a little um, thing for us to go and do um, <clears throat> that's coming up on Friday. So if you've got a Leander and you haven't got the Belfast, do go and get onto our Discord or send us a message and send me an image of your most damage you did in the Leander in a standard battle and then the one who did the most damage gets to win it you can win the code um HMS Belfast herself was awesome we had a really cool um really really nice guy gave us a tour around um did you know that in battle this thing did 29 tons of fuel an hour and when it was cruising it was two tons absolutely amazing um, 26 people in one of those turrets and because it was like a flagship for Far Eastern deployment it like had a extra accommodation for admirals and 
dignitaries and what have you. It has an admiral's bridge up the top. Um, yeah, there was a consideration whether we should climb the crow's nest, but we didn't. Um, in fact, HMS Belfast bit me because I um, tried to free up a uh, <laughs> a compass that was on the side of the lookout station um, at the top. And um, yeah, it tried to chew my thumb off, which was nice of it. Um, absolutely fantastic ship. Um, the people there were lovely. And while we were there, we bumped into Dazzler. We bumped into your boy came down with his stepdad, uh, with his stepdad-in-law, I think, um, who was awesome too, who'd also play ships. Um, met a bunch of people on the PC. Obviously, Hive was there with his two um, bodyguards who refused to save him from Yak throwing him in the Thames, which we didn't do because we felt like it was bullying at th this point. Um, but there are loads and loads of cool things out there, and I do recommend it. If you get the opportunity to go into London, do go and have a tour around HMS Belfast. It's highly worth it. Um, the most recent um, British battleship, British battleship, British ship, uh, warship that's um, been saved. I mean, it's a shame they never saved the war spike, but um, if you think about this, this is a light cruiser. You can imagine the size of things in a battleship. Um, the step ladders were entertaining, damn near vertical. Um, Froggy kept on catching himself on the on the lips of the door at the bottom because Froggy was there as well. Um, shout out to condemned Froggy if you don't know who Froggy is. Um, yeah, it was really really cool. Soul Boy was there too. Um, oh, we had an awesome time. It was really nice to see everyone. We had a few beers afterwards. Um, Dazzler was lovely, even though he lost his bag afterwards. Bloody hell, God knows where he put it. Um, so yeah, it, it was a lot, a lot of fun. Um, actually, the views from the Belfast are really nice. Just sitting on the top of the ship, standing on the top of the ship and having a good look around. Um, had an absolutely fantastic time. So yeah, we had a lovely time over there. Um, it wasn't enormously busy, but it was busy enough. Um, I didn't get to meet Drachenfell. Um but um, from what I understand, he was, you know, with somebody who knows an awful lot more than the person is doing the VIP tour. On that tour, it sounded like Drac was just going, no, it was this and this was happened and that happened. And you, go, you can't help it sometimes when you know more. Um, but it was a beautiful day on Sunday. I mean, Wargaming put on a great show for us, um, really looked after us. The um, loads of free sweeties and things. Um in fact, one of the PC um, CCs ordered a pizza to HMS Belfast, which was hilarious. Um, there's a big group photo, which um, I missed and Yak missed because we were getting sweeties. <clears throat> but an absolutely fabulous time. Really thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, had a great old time. Can only thank Wargaming and Hive enough. Uh, can't thank them enough for looking after us. Do go and check out HMS Belfast. Um if you enter the Belfast competition to win it by the end of this week, um, I shall wish you the very best of luck. I look forward to seeing your um, game screens at the end of it. Have a great rest of your week. I will see you very soon. Take care. King Chicken out. Bye.